Hey everyone and welcome back to Robot Boy and in this video we're going to be taking a look at No Man's Sky Next, the new update for No Man's Sky coming to PS4, PC and now Xbox as well along with Wii Game in the summer. Whoop de freaking do. Today we're going to take a selfish look <laughs> at my personal wish list for things to come in No Man's Sky Next. Just a disclaimer guys, what I'm going to say here are things that may or may not realistically be in the game, could be put in. These are things I hope to see at some point, whether they're, you know, what they could be in next. It's such an ambiguous update, we don't know how big or small it could be, so all this stuff could be in it, or some of it might not be. These are not things I definitely think will be in there, these are things that I personally would like to see in the game. I will be breaking down what I think will be in the update in another video, so do stay around and check that out if you can. Yes, I know, I uh, I guess I've kind of gone through lots of different things I want to be in the new update, especially in my 5 ways to improve series that I ran a few months ago. Huh, I've been making No Man's Sky videos long enough to say that now. Wow. Anyway, I'm going to summarise and streamline my personal wish list in this video, so let's start off. I'm not going to be too specific, I'm just going to read through, barrel through this list of things. So let's start off with better and more extravagant terrain generation. And by that I sort of mean, you know, the obvious general improvements to terrain. More textures, variation in textures would be cool. So you know, we have an ice, we have ice planets and we have different types of textures, but it'd be cool to maybe double or triple the amount of textures. So if we land on another ice planet, there's a high chance that we'll be on a different looking ice planet to one we've seen before. Or, you know, same with the grass, same with same with rocks, uh, etc. Something I want to see as well is more verticality. Definitely these, I don't know, I find the game quite flat when you're playing it. And when you do find a mountain, it's very slopey. There's never, I've never walked up to essentially a wall of rocks where you're walking along. It's like a flat surface and then it's just completely boom, perpendicular. This rock is going up insanely huge. It's massive. It's a mountain and it's just vertical and you cannot climb up it like you have your jetpack you're trying to get up to the top and you run out of jetpack before you even get there and it's just absolutely huge almost reaching into the into the clouds there so that would be cool to see more stuff like that more verticality deeper canyons as well if you fall into a canyon you are stuck there you really need to find your way out you need to be careful not to fall down these things uh that would be really interesting and just generally taller objects you know if there's a if there's a tree or there are different types of plants if they could be taller and bigger that would be awesome uh anti-gravity objects on non-exotic planets would be great you know on the exotic planets there are assets that float around in the air float around in the sky hover around that's awesome but it would be cool to see maybe a couple of those things on non-exotic planets as well we did see them in the old trailers uh where there would be like floating rocks just on grass planets that would be awesome if we could see stuff like that not huge things you know not an entire planet worth of anti-gravity things but every now and again there's like a rock you're, you're on a grassy planet there's trees it's forests it's your sort of general lush planet and then you just find this sort of stack of floating rocks with like light coming out of them and that's it that would be cool so, something like that i'm also thinking variation on planets of biome so not to the extreme that some people go sometimes you know i'm not thinking a frozen planet and it's ice on one side and then you've got green forest on the other side i'm not talking that extreme i'm thinking more like on a frozen planet you've got a huge frozen lake that stretches for miles and miles and miles and it's just nothingness and then you suddenly hit a forest and then you've got a forest that goes on for ages and then the forest disappears and there's a mountain range that covers a certain area of the planet and then you've got a settlement area where there's a higher density of npcs i'm thinking about that sort of variation in biomes so not specifically maybe the biomes but just the generation of assets and environmental objects within a certain biome Next we're going to move on to space. So in space it'd be cool to just do anything, to be honest, you can't do anything in space at the moment. You can fly into space, you can visit a space station, you can visit a crater, or you can get into a dogfight. That's literally it. You can't go anywhere, obviously apart from planets because they're technically in space, but there's nothing to do, there are no ships or anything to go and explore. 
So it'd be cool if we could maybe just uh, something to do. I, I don't have any specific ideas in mind. Maybe something lore related. You know, it is cool when we do have the anomalies appearing in space, but they're very specific things. It'd be cool to have something like that, but on a smaller scale every now and again that you could go and explore. Maybe derelict space stations would be a cool idea. I definitely would like to see larger ships of some sort that we can pilot that we can customize um, because you know when when you're warping from one planet to another and you've got two and a half minutes while you're just sitting there waiting it's so boring i can't imagine how much time i've spent just waiting to get to another planet you just have to sit there you can't go and do anything while you're on it you can go into your inventory obviously but sometimes you don't want to go into your inventory or if you're playing creative mode you have no reason to go into your inventory so when you're just sitting there waiting to get to another planet having a ship where you could maybe walk around on would be awesome maybe even increase the time between planets so maybe it's like you know four to five minutes between a planet but you can walk around your ship in that time do something else enjoy being on your ship that'd be awesome and definitely space walks i want to be able to get out your ship in space and bob around and float around so in terms of structures space station interiors definitely need to improve they're so small they don't make sense in the scale of space stations and they don't make sense as well like you'll be in a cube shaped space station with no windows and then you go in and you walk like 10 feet into the room on the side and you're suddenly at a window looking out and it's like well, this doesn't make sense so larger space station interiors base building as well it'd be cool if we had more assets to use to build our bases with uh maybe even land trading stations as well i know we have the small stations but in the pre-release trailers there were these huge vertical structures that looked awesome that you could almost fly into it'd be cool if they brought those back larger settlements in general and even larger monoliths that we could maybe explore inside maybe again to do with sam swain if he could procedurally generate interiors of monoliths or underground dungeons that are lore related uh, atlas related that would be so cool moving on to flora and fauna obviously we want more creatures we want different creatures we want better variation of creatures and i want larger creatures in general um and larger creatures that don't look ridiculous <laughs> like larger creatures at the moment are smaller creatures that are bigger it'd be cool to see creatures that are designed to be bigger like the diplos like these huge rhino things like the huge sandworm stuff like that and generally of course better ai for the flora and the fauna as well to interact with in a different way a more interactive way in terms of the combat and the danger I'm hoping for more enemy types within the sentinels we've got the three different sentinel types at the moment maybe a couple more maybe sentinels that just roam around we could bump into ship combat as well although we did get quite a good overhaul with atlas rises maybe a few more additions to that as well maybe although from our side i think the combat's fine maybe some different enemy types you know different as well we've got the enemy ships and we've got enemy freighters maybe something in between that uh, and also third person for ships is a big one for me i would i would love to be able to actually see my ship you spend so much time looking for a ship and finding it and then you can't even see it when you're flying around in it so third person ships would be perfect for me this leads us on to customization and i really hope as well as third person mode for ships we are able to get player models and you know whether we get third person for that as well very unlikely probably but the ability to have player models and be able to customize them see what they look like in our inventory menu would be amazing and from there you know going on to customize ships customize exocraft even generally just customizing our avatars as well and finally that obviously leads us into multiplayer which would be great and as i've said before though if they improve all of the core mechanics and add the things i've literally just mentioned in this list to the single player experience then allowing us to do all of these things but with other people is all that you really need to do to make multiplayer function properly in no man's sky and that's it everyone please do leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments below what are your thoughts on no man's sky next what do you think we'll see in the new update what do you want to see in the new update and of course when do you think the new update will drop as always please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and do subscribe to join me on this journey if you haven't done so already and with that i'll see you all in the next video